Hi, Drew. Welcome in. Can we get some yos? Haven't been here in a while? You know what? You're always welcome. But hi, Drew. Hi, queen. Welcome in. Can we get some yos? Hello. Welcome in. Also, do you want me to call you Stitch or Queen? I'm fine with both. It is Pride Month. Oh, wait, honey. <laughs> we have an emote. It's psi 2 yo It should be free if you're a follower. And you can still type yo. I do want to become an AO chat room. Queen? Got it, Queen. Also, guys, I'm not clickbaiting today. I do actually have an update. But we're, we'll wait a few minutes. That way everybody can hear it. So, how you guys doing? Hi, Chip. Hi, Hacker. Wait, there's so many green chatters. What is going on today? <laughs> Look at the screen. You guys are all green. Hi, guys. Can we get some more yos? Hello. Now, no narcs, but if you follow my Twitter, you know what happened. If if you don't, I'll leak in a few minutes. Hi, Kobobo! Can we get some yos? Update, I have a new job. Let's go! Now, you, you don't have to leak what it is, Chip, but is it better so far than your old one? Because I think you said before, like, they just removed you from your work schedule or something. Okay, I'll turn face cam on in one minute. I won't stall any longer. So I feel like the music is loud, but I don't know. It could be just me. Also, everybody clock in. It is Friday. I was gonna say, I'm so nervous, but I'm not nervous. Anytime that I say I'm nervous on stream, I'm lying. <laughs> it's like a joke. But I'm not nervous, I feel fine today. Okay, I'm all done posting. Three, two, one. Guys, I'm alive. <laughs> Hello. Good morning, good afternoon. I'm live right on time. It's 11.04 a.m. on Friday, June 7th. I don't know why I looked up. It literally says the date on my computer. 
We had Queen, Drew, Hacker, and Chip, and Golbobo in the starting soon screen. Thank you guys for chatting. Okay, should I just jump into it? Um, I have to get the timestamp, that way I can put this for the VOD watchers. Six minutes, exactly. Okay, because, guys, big update. If you follow me on Twitter, you know what happened, but last week I donated plasma and I was kind of like, I didn't really like talk about it, but I did like make comments about it occasionally throughout the week. I was like, man, you know, those phlebotomists like really fucked up my veins because like I had bruises on both of my inner elbows at the injection points. But what happened was, um... The first time they put the needle in my arm, they missed, so like no blood came out. But then somebody readjusted the needle and then it worked, and then it's, it my vein stopped pumping after like five minutes. So they had to do my other arm. But because they botched the initial injection, I had <laughs> it led to a blood clot in my upper arm. Now just to preface, I did see this on Twitter as well. It's very rare that this happens. Usually donating blood and plasma is a very safe procedure. And I'm not saying that just to say that. I've been donating off and on for about a year now, and it's relatively safe. If you don't like noodles, then don't do it. But it's very rare that a clot happens. So that was Thursday afternoon that I went in and then that happened. So I had bruises on both my elbows and then I thought I had a trigger warning. There's no blood, but just Oh, wait, I forgot we're in 60 frames per second today. Uh-oh. Anyway, it's fine. So, trigger warning, if you don't like body stuff, I'll put my hand up again when it's when it's clear. I don't have a bruise or anything now, but it's like a weld. So, you can't see it right now, because I've been, like, putting heat compresses and taking medicine. But for the past week-ish, I had a- whoa, my frame rate. Oh wait, I have to change my fan settings. Wait, hold. Hold. I forgot. It's summertime, we gotta do... Fans on blast. Oh my god, that's so loud. <laughs> that's so loud. Okay, that should be a bit better now. Anyway. So... If you hear my computer fans... Um, no you don't. Anyway, so I had a welt. This big on my arm since Thursday. And when you donate blood or plasma, they put like a, you know the cuff that they use to take your, your blood pressure? So I, that, this is where the cuff was. So I was like, shit, I, I just got another bruise, but like from the cuff, not from the actual needle. So I told myself, I was like, you know, I should be fine, it's just a bruise. But then, you know when you get a bruise, it starts changing colors after like two or three days. Like it'll change from like blue, purple, green, and then normal skin tone. But this motherfucker wasn't changing. So on Tuesday, I was like, okay, then this is not a normal bruise. So I'm looking it up, I'm looking on WebMD, and I'm like, oh, it could be a blood clot, which not good. So I spent the rest of the, oh wait, Thursday we streamed. So like I looked that up in the morning. And I was like, okay, I'll, I'll handle it tomorrow, Wednesday. And then Wednesday morning, I woke up at three and like my arm was in a lot of pain and it was swollen and like the welt was sizable. Like I said, you can barely see it now. I can see like it, it's slightly red on camera because I had the saturation a bit up, but like it was swollen like, like this much up on my arm on Wednesday morning when I woke up. I was like, uh-oh. This might actually be something bad. <laughs> so I, I woke my roommates up at 4 a.m. I was like, guys, I was crying because I was like kind of freaking out. So I woke them up. I was like, hey, you can... I was like, what should I do? And my sister was like, you need to go to the ER now. I'm like, okay. So my sister couldn't go with me because she had to work that day. And it really sucked having to go to the ER alone. But you know. Gotta do what you gotta do. Thank you for the follow. I love your user. Wait 10 minutes and you can chat. <laughs> can we get some meals for the new follower? Anyway. Um, so we get to the ER at about 5 a.m. And like, ER is basically empty because it's 5 a.m. So I get checked in relatively quickly. 
I tell them what happened and they're like, yeah, this looks, it's either that or like an infection. So like I had to do blood work. I had to get an ultrasound on my arm, which I've never gotten an ultrasound. But let me just say they're not as scary as an MRI. MRI are fucking scary. And then they confirm that yes, I did have like a minor blood clot, which is good, but also bad because there's different types of blood clots. A minor blood clot is one that is like in a vein closer to the surface of your skin. So it's a lot easier to heal from it. And then there's called a DVT, which is a deep vein. It starts with a T, but the technical name for a blood clot. And that's when like there's a clot in your artery. So like a major vein, like deeper in your, your limb, your limb. And those are more common in your legs, because naturally when you sit, like, your blood pools in your legs, right? Because just gravity pulls it down. So, they were like, okay, it's in your arm, obviously, and it, it's from the botched plasma donation. So, like, it's not that it happened randomly, so it's not like I have, like, a predisposition to have clots. Which, clots can happen if you're diabetic, more likely, and they also can happen randomly, so it's good to know the signs for if you have a clot or if somebody you know has a clot. What it basically looks like, it looks like a ranch, but it can be like an elevated welt that's warm to the touch. So it's kind of like a bruise, but not, almost. So anyway, that whole process of me getting blood work and testing done took six hours. So for like six hours, it was actually, I got really lucky because like I live in a relatively like larger city now and I was lucky I had my own room in the ER because my clout, no, just kidding. It's because I got there really early. Um, like when I was, they, they took me to the room in like the very back of the hospital and I passed like 20 different rooms. And then by the time I left at like 11 to noon, like all the rooms were full. They had people like in the hallways getting treatment. So like it's it's still really sad to see. Like it's obvious like everybody knows that the health system is strained because of the past and current ongoings of the COVID-19 pandemic. But it's, it's still really sad to see, you know. But CLDR. It's good that I went in on Wednesday because they said, because the welt, the actual blood clot length is like this big. So about two inches. I bet some of you guys know that length. <laughs> so it's sizable enough to where it's to be of concern, but it's small enough to where like I didn't need any like immediate treatment or like surgery. Because whenever you go to the ER, depending on what you're going in for, um, if you are going in for something that you might need surgery for, you should avoid eating or drinking before you go. Because if you have like food in your stomach or water before you go into a surgery, they have to do like a different procedure and it could lead to more infections or complications later. So if you know what you're going to the ER for and you may think you may need surgery, do not eat or drink. This is not medical advice, this is just anecdotal what I've learned and read. So anyway, for, so that for that six hours, I couldn't eat or drink because like I didn't know if it was like severe enough to where I would need like surgery or anything. Because if you have a DVT, depending on the severity, because a DVT where the clot is in your artery, it can spread from your, your limbs, like your leg or your arm into your lungs. And that's very bad. But anyway, it was caught before it spread to that length. Good thing I went in on Wednesday. So yeah, that was my Wednesday, <laughs> and it was it was really I was scared, but also not because like I was really glad that I went in knowing what it was, because like it's so much scarier for anybody who has experienced like any type of chronic illness or who knows somebody who's experienced it to not have clarity on what could be wrong with you, right? Um, so yeah. Basically, I have to be on medication for a month or two, depending on if it works, which it should work. Um, so basically, I have to avoid heavy exercise, no heavy lifting, avoid 
like accidentally cutting myself so like when i'm cooking i have to be very very careful i also should not shave because i'll be honest when i shave i nick myself at least three places so i should avoid that and i don't have any like other restrictions besides like if it does swell like throughout the day i do have to put a, a warm compress on it so there may be times in the upcoming weeks to where like we have to pause stream and i have to like you know treat it for like 10 20 minutes but once because I, I get the medication either tonight or tomorrow because it's, it's taken a few days for them to get it delivered to my pharmacy but yeah ultimately i'm okay it's good that I went in when I did. So, yeah. Like, obviously I didn't stream Wednesday. Like, when I got home, I just hung out with my sister and watched videos. And then Thursday, I was just, like, calming down and stuff. Because, like, it was really stressful. Obviously, being in, like, the ER, if anybody's been to the ER, like, either you go by yourself or you, you accompany someone, it's, like, a very scary place to be. You never know what you'll see. You'll never know what to expect. But, honestly, everything worked out the best that it could have. <laughs> I'm glad you're okay. Thank you, Drew. I... I'm very glad. <laughs> um, I understand that, like... Also, I just want to say thank you. I did get some DMs from some viewers the past few days. You guys were very nice and kind. I appreciate you. Um... But yeah, all I ask is that in this, in the upcoming month or two, is that you guys have a bit of patience with me, because physically I'm fine. Once I get on the medication, I'll be fine. Like, the swelling will basically be gone. But it's still, like, a very stressful thing to think about, because if I, like, miss a day of the medicine, or if I don't, like, heat compress as much as I need to, it could spread more. So I have to be, like, very on point about it. So, like I said earlier, if there is a time where, like, I need to treat it during stream, I need to stop what I'm doing and treat it. Last thing I will say about that is, it's on my inner arm, so you guys can't see it, basically. So, you may see me, like, go like this throughout the day, but please, please, please don't comment on it. Like, don't be like, oh my god, it's huge! Or, like, don't, don't lie, like, don't try to make me look at it, I guess, because, like, I can also feel when it's swelling. You know, I don't want people to be shitty about that. Which, I know you guys won't, but this is just a little preface thing. That's so scary, honestly. Yeah. Like, I was talking to the doctor, and they were like, this is not, like, common in young people. It's more common in those who have um, diabetes and the elderly, because they just move less. Um, it's becoming more common as people live more, like, sediment- Wait, sediment- where you sit a lot. <laughs> like, the people who have office jobs and shit. But they said since I know how it happened, I'm fine. Like, it's not like it's not like it'll happen again, basically. Um, this is like a one-off incident. Um, okay, okay, so that was what happened. <laughs> now for the aftermath. So because of the blood clot, I cannot, like, accidentally cut myself. I cannot, like, bite my nails. I can't shave. I also can't donate plasma, which is obvious, because, okay, usually when I donate plasma, I bleed a lot anyway, because, I don't know, I don't have naturally thin blood, it's just I, I bleed a lot when I get cut. It's, it's just, I'm quirky like that. So, I can't donate for three months, essentially. Um, so that means... I will be down about, because, okay, in the states, in, in different countries, you can get financial compensation for donating blood or plasma. In the states, plasma is something you can get, like, monetary donations from. So, since I can't donate for three months, that's, like, $1,500 that I just will not get that I was planning on getting. Because, like, I'm, I'm pretty good about donating throughout the week. You know, it's very important because, like, obviously you get a bag, but plasma is used for medication for the chronically ill, and it's also used in, like, emergency treatments. So if you are 18 and you live in the States and you are, like, physically able to donate pl blood or plasma, please do. Also, I am putting you guys on a mission. If you are above 18 and you've never donated, you know, since I can't donate for the next three months, I need you guys to pick up the slack. 
I'm not sponsored to say this. I'm just saying this because it's like the right thing to do. Because I personally know some people who do receive medicine that is plasma based. You know? So like, I see the impact that donations do make. That's leading to the final point is as I mentioned before, I'm no longer receiving disability benefits because the plan was simple. Starting June, you know, I could donate plasma and get like the full money amount because how disability works in the States is any money you make, you have to report to them because it affects your, your disability benefits, like the amount you get. So since that stopped in June, I'm no longer on disability. I also can't donate plasma for the next three months. So that means for the next three months, Peason underscore 17 will have very little to no funding. <laughs> so <laughs> all I ask, I'm not asking for donations. I'm not asking for more bits or tier ones. All I ask is if you have a prime sub, if you could give it to Peason for the next three months, I would appreciate it. That would be great, because, you know, that is free. That is free. And the last note that I can touch on is now that I'm off a of disability, I can technically reopen the art shop now. Because how disability works is if you have your own business, you have to report the hours you put into said business. So now that I'm off of it, I can put 40 hours a week into the art website. I can put 20, I can put 50, I can put as many as I want into it now. And not get like recommended for it. Also, hi Kim. Can we get some yos? Kim was super nice. Kim DM me. It was really sweet. Thank you, Kim. Um, so that means I can put all of my heart and soul into art once again. So guys... If you want to help support Peace and during these hard times, <laughs> I'm saying this like jokingly, but we'll be fine. Like me and my sister will be fine. It's just like a really shitty time for this. Oh, also, fuck. Like since I'm gonna be on blood thinners, I cannot get like any type of like medical treatment that can like make an incision. So I can't get my fucking wisdom teeth pulled now. So I have to delay that procedure for another two months. It's really fucking frustrating because I waited like a month for them to process my goddamn referral for that wisdom teeth removal and I was going to schedule it for like the, within the next two weeks, but now I can't. So I have to wait another two months to get my wisdom teeth removed because I'll be on this medication. So like it's another two months of teeth pain too. It's like, it's almost like one thing after another when it comes to like medical shit for me. But you know what? I'm not gonna let it stop me. I'll work as much as I can, but I won't work myself to exhaustion. I know my own limits. But yeah, if you are young, if you are old, do not ever be afraid to go to the doctor. It's always better to address things before they get worse. I promise. Wait, no, how do I promise? I promise. If someone buys a painting, does the alert show on stream? No. But I get an email and I will shout you out. Because <laughs> it used to show the alerts on screen, but to pay for those alerts, it cost me $10 a month. So it would only be justifiable to pay for that premium alert service if I made like $100 a month. Yeah, it costs $10 for alerts. It's because they're through Shopify. It's because somebody like coded all of it which makes sense like they're paying you're paying for like a software which is good but it's still 10 bucks i i may undo i ain't doing that shit <laughs> but yeah so thank you promise real oh thank you hacker for the 25 months thank you i appreciate that hacker here pinky promise i will i will not work myself to the bone oh yeah can we get some whackers thank you hacker um, yeah, I, I think that's it. I keep on saying TLDR, but TLDR, I'm fine. As long as I take my medicine, which I'm pretty good about. You know, I haven't missed a single day of my regular vitamins. And as long as I don't, like, overwork myself too much, I'll be fully healed within, like, two months. 
also have my juice. I have to drink orange juice. Because when you have a blood clot, um, your, your body produces more, like, antibodies. Your body reacts like you're sick. So you have to, like, drink more orange tea to compensate that. And then I just have to drink more water. That way it helps a bit more, I guess, or some shit. But yeah. That's that's been the past two days. <laughs> yeah, I'm still working on like wait, you guys wanna see some leaks? <clears throat> okay, this is nothing major, it's not a huge leak. But because for the art website, by the end of the month, I'm hoping on launching 4x4 four four minis, like mini mini paintings, stamp prints that can either be like 4x6s or 2.5x3.5, so like trading card size, and then also like embossed prints. Like it's like raised wax kind of. So I'll show a little leak. But I want to do more abstract stuff still, along with, like, foliage. Oh, it's flipped. Also, it's really bright. But I was working on these the other night. Oh, it's actually last night. I have it dated. Because I think with the 4x4s, I still want to do abstract. Because that's where I'm comfortable, and I think I execute it fairly well. But, yeah, that's, that's all I'm leaking. That's all you're getting. So guys, you should check your email. No, you did not. You did not. You did not. You did not. You should have used Max gift card or something. What the fuck? Guys. We just got a we just got a sale on peace and art on I assume it's Kim. I assume it's Kim. But thank you, Kim. Can we get some wimps in chat? Okay, we have to talk about that because I'm gonna start doing the orders live. So like, if I get a painting sale or if I get like a print sale, I'll make I'll make it live on the art channel. So it will take longer, but people will actually get to see it made. That, that was supposed to be discussed during the shareholders meeting. But you know what? I guess I got a painting to make. But thank you, Kim. I'll work on it. I'll work on it. I'll make it live on the art channel. Guys, follow my art channel. It's twitch.tv slash peacein underscore 17. You're too nice. But you know what? You know what that means? Plus 150. <laughs> Thank you, Kim. I feel bad. I shouldn't feel bad. You know what? It was good. Which one did Kim get? You'll see. You'll see when I paint it live. Hell yeah, brother. Okay, update over. Enough farming. So, guys, if you want to help support the peace in underscore 17 channel, all you must do these past few months. Or these upcoming, not past few. <laughs> I've been meaning to get it. Yeah, I did tell chat to not buy paintings until my disability ended. So thank you for holding. Because if I would have had a sale from December to June, I would I would have gotten like the cost of the painting removed from my benefits. It's so fucking stupid. It's genuinely stupid. But thank you. Thank you. We should, maybe, wait, you know what I should do? Because I don't have alerts, like, auto-programmed. You know what I'll do? We'll add, like, a little video that can play, like, a little custom alert, and I could just manually play it. We'll do that whenever we get a sale. I was gonna ask for it under the table? No! <laughs> no! <laughs> I would, I would get in trouble. <laughs> no, because, like, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so, VOD watchers, 
I'm gonna update the pin chat. That way people coming in know what timestamp in the VOD, so slash pin update is at six minutes up time. There we go. Pin chat is updated. So if anybody else comes in and asks about the drama, we just tell them watch the VOD. Watch the VOD. Okay, guys. What do we want to do now? We can do some gaming. Okay, oh, before we move on, does anybody have any questions or anything? Any drama that needs to be addressed? Oh, also, guys, please make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. That does help me out a lot. Because the more... I've seen the most crossover from TikTok and YouTube, honestly. And I feel like YouTube is still the best. <laughs> Mac is not gonna give me their gift card. Wait, Mac said they did want this painting for sure. The reason why I launched this one sooner is because I know Mac said they liked it. Ew, this tastes like carrots. Okay. Enough. I just spat all over my laptop. Okay. Oh. Earlier when I said I can't do, like, anything physically strenuous, we cannot do the Lucia challenge. Because it's literally just moving my right arm. What is the black and white thing on the white side of your screen? Oh, this one? This thing? It's a painting. I know, the, the way my camera has it cropped is not ideal, but... You should totally bring back Change of Painting. I thought about it. But since I'm going to have smaller paintings, what my main goal with my setup is I want to have like 20 different 4x4 paintings and make it look like, or just have the minis back in the background. Because the minis will probably cost like 25 to 50 depending on how long they take each. They'll be cheaper than the full paintings, obviously. Okay, guys. Before we get into the main segment of stream, I just want to present a message from our sponsor. Oh my god, peace and art on myshopify.com, holy moly! If you want a painting like you see in the back of my stream every single day, click the link in chat and go bookmark it now. Since the shop will be relaunching, I will do a giveaway every other month. So at the very end of June, we'll do a giveaway, okay? Because I think... When did you launch the website? It's been about a year, yeah? Even though it's been closed for six months. Awkward. So guys, click the link. Go bookmark the website. Blogging is coming soon. Guys, click the link now. Bookmark it. Okay. Enough dilly-dallying. It's mother freaking gaming time. Man, it's been so long since I played Mario Kart. Also, the stream is in 60 FPS. The bitrate is going to fucking tank. So, I'm sorry, I forgot to change the frame rate. So, if I look a bit blurry, oh well. <clears throat> okay, I'll keep the title the same because we're, we're clickbaiting. I also, very sad... I lost my original cue card that had all my topics on it. I legit can't find it. So you guys know what you need to do. Ask me anything. You can ask in chat or use your channel points. There is a redemption called AMA. That is, the plan is simple. Okay, we're also going to verify that the audio is synced. Now, since we're back to playing games on the Switch, the audio should be synced no matter what. But please tell me if there's an issue. No matter what, but please tell me if there's an issue. Yeah, I think it's good. <clears throat> My goal today 
is to get a million ranked online. I think I can do it. Hell yeah, brother. Man, it's been so long. I think it's legit been a month since I've played. I've been lacking. I should do computers. I know I always start with computers, but I genuinely should, like, practice again. 200cc because I'm no baby. Pauline because she's my queen. <laughs> Computer underscore. Oh, wait. 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 Dude. Wait. I like this pre a lot. I'm pretty good at this pre, but I want to show off today. Dude, that is a crazy AMA. That sounds like a Reddit AMA type question, you know what I mean? Hi, Dio Mio. <laughs> you know, I'll say it, Amsterdam Drift is the prettiest track. Okay, should I beat up my ex since they took my Mario Kart game? I don't know if beat up is the best solution. You know, I would never advocate for violence. What you should do instead is message them and ask to face them off personally in Mario Kart. And then whoever wins keeps the cartridge. And then if you lose... You break the cartridge. <laughs> that way they can't play it anymore. Got it, thank you. Of course, I got you. I'll eat it. No, the Nintendo cartridges are, like, purposely flavored to be bitter. It would, it would, it would be a funny bit, but I don't know if it's worth it. It wouldn't taste good. Okay, I haven't played in so long. This feels so weird. I'm into bitter stuff. Oh, wait. The game audio is muted. <laughs> I forgot. I recorded something in OBS and I forgot to unmute the game. Sorry. VOD Watchers in shambles. Okay, we're back to it. That should be better now. Thank you, Kobo. Well, I would have literally never noticed. <laughs> wait, then how did I... Wait, then how do I see the audio is synced? I'm so dumb. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? I must have just been like imagining it in my head that the audio- Oh wait, I probably heard my controller like blinking. Oh my god. See, this is what happens when I don't stream for two days. I just forget everything. Watch this. Oh, man. I licked a game cartridge once, and the taste lingered for like an hour. Man. Was the bit worth it, though, hacker? Did your doctor give you the okay to drive? Wait, did you guys? Okay. I watched the recent mogul mail video. And it was talking about the guy who... The video went viral. Of... An individual who showed up to a Zoom court hearing, driving, but he, because he was charged with, like, an <laughs> expired license. And then, the guy came out, and he was like, you know what, actually, that was a prior, like, error in the court system. Like, I technically had a valid license. And then, it just came out that he never had a license. Now, I didn't see that whole debacle as it was happening. Like, I've only heard about the story yesterday. I was like, oh my god, that's insane. I think that just goes to show, like, how easy it is to, like, lie. And for people to just blatantly believe you. Like, I know I lie all the time on stream, but I only lie if it's to, like, protect my privacy. You know what I mean? But otherwise, I- I- If I had to lie, I could never keep it up. I'm just too forgetful. Oh, sorry, I missed a question. What track in the game do you think is the best music? Ooh, I'm biased, but Coconut Ball is always a pretty solid bop. Or Toad's Factory? I'm so sad when you get Toad's Factory in the DLC. I was genuinely so sad. 
Or, I'll be honest, like, any track that was in the Wii. But I'm biased because that was my first ever Mario Kart game. I definitely think, like, the best part of a song is, like, the trumpet section in Dolphin Shoals. You'll hear it all the time in, like, Lubbock videos, but I think it's genuinely the best Mario Kart song there is. I'm also... I, for some reason, I just really like trumpets. They make my ears feel good. Easy. Man, the stream looks so good and... 60 frames per second, but the bitrate is shit. You like Trump? That's crazy. No, that's not what I said. I I said Trump et. You know, like for feminine names you add an et. I like girl Trump, not Trump. Moving on. Guys, ask me anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just because I have a Pokemon named Magikarp doesn't mean I'm pro-Trump, okay, guys? I'm genuinely so surprised. Oh, wait, I posted- Wait, I forgot to announce this. Chat, I forgot. Big drama. I forgot. I posted the best of compilation for May yesterday. And you know what? We have a new VIP in the chat room. It's flipped. Wait, let me fix this. Let me fix this. Flip. We have a new VIP. ETH Maker got 18 points. They clipped nine clips. Electra in second with six. So Electra, thank you for your service. But now ETH Maker is a new VIP. So the moment we see Ethan and Chen, we gotta give him VIP. So, hopefully we don't see Ethan. I also owe Ethan a Twitch gift card. So, thank you, Ethan, for clipping. He honestly had some good clips during the month of May. So, thank you for clipping, Ethan. Okay, I gotta flip myself back. I don't like seeing this. Here we go. I saw your tweet and I screamed. Okay, I was fine. <laughs> I was fine. Well, because, like, I can sit on my desk and I'm fine. I just can't, like, do anything, like, too physically strenuous. Like, I'm fine. I'm fine. Because <laughs> the doctor was like, please don't lay in bed all day. That will not help you. And I'm like, okay. Yeah, Ethan won. I whispered Ethan, but they haven't whispered me back. I think he's a hate watcher now. Okay, let's actually verify that the game audio is for real sync, though. It is synced for real, for real. Who <laughs> whispered? Yeah, because Ethan doesn't follow me on anything besides TikTok, and I don't know his user, so. Maybe he has whispers blocked. <laughs> okay, back to the game. Ask me anything. I'm catching up. Daisy Cruiser and Moonview Highway. Aren't those both from, like, older tracks? I still stand behind Dolphin Trolls. It's pretty good. Sup, gang? What the fuck? Hi, Ethan. Recovering well? Yes. Hi, Ethan. We literally just talked about you. What is this? <laughs> Question mark? Um, Ethan, I whispered you. If you check your Twitch whispers. Also, can we get some yo's? Ethan, you had the most clips for the month of May. So you know what? Speak of the devil. You get VIP for a month. Also, Ethan, do you live in Canada? If so, I can give you a Twitch gift card that's Canadian. Mac was rizzing me up in whispers. Okay, I don't want to see that in my Twitch chat. I don't want to be... <laughs> You're from Canada? Okay, I'll give you your gift card via Whispers in a few days, okay? Maybe tonight if I remember. But congrats, Ethan! Can we get some Weathens? You had some really good clips this past month. And I think the best clip you made was the Mightyena one. It farmed so many comments on Instagram. 
By so many, I mean like two, but it was still really funny. Awesome. Now, Ethan, all I ask... <laughs> now, I'm not saying I regret this decision, but all I ask is VIPs are allowed to send links and auto mod will not like delete them. So Ethan, don't send links. If you send a link, you're going to be in big trouble. I will time you out. I'm not even fucking kidding. If I see something that is not a Twitch link, you're banned forever. Okay, back to the game. But congrats, Ethan. You won. Let's see if you can get it again next month. Electro is pretty competitive. Okay, watch this. I'm gonna get it first. Okay, we do the trick. We keep the coin in hand in case we get ghosted. What if it's twitch.tv slash peacein underscore 17? Why would you link my own channel in my chat? Like, I know that'd be funny, but that would genuinely make no sense. <laughs> Links? That's actually a good bit. Okay, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. The only- the way you only clarify that with Ethan? Well, cause Ethan has tried to send links in the past! I know he has! Oh, wait, but Twitch has a new function to where you, instead of like, immediately banning or timing out users, you can send them like a private warning message. I have yet to try it. Who wants to be the first person to try out the Twitch warning function? Somebody type a slur. <laughs> wait, I'm kidding. Please don't. I'm kidding. <laughs> they were all just my own clips. Well, how do I know? How do I know, Ethan? I'll never know. They're gonna know. Okay, we'll test out the warning thing. I already got a warning in another channel. Why are you self reporting? Well, okay, what did you do to get the warning? I got ghosted! I've only gotten timed out from my channel once, and it was because I accidentally had my caps lock on, and then I got automated because it, they were like, please don't use all caps, and I was like, okay. But I don't think- I don't think I've said anything too unhinged in a Twitch chat. I said nothing crazy, I was just yapping. Yeah, I mean, like, I let you guys say some offhanded shit sometimes, but- Oh, wait, interesting. Kim said a bad word. She said thought, but spelled meanly. Wait, oh. How do I do a warning? Okay, so in order to warn somebody, you cannot do it through Automod. You have to open the user card. That's so dumb. I think it was Global Running Day, and I said I should run back to my eggs. <laughs> wait, that's funny, though. That's funny. Were they like, warning, do not trauma dump in the Twitch chat? That's some dumbass shit. I would never warn you out for that. Warn you out? Okay. Okay, let's warn Kim. Let's see. She said thought. Um, no vulgar words. Oh, that's weird. It resets my whole mod view. Wait, Kim, can you send me a screenshot of what that looks like on your end? I'm curious. I gotta- wait, screenshot it! Oh, send it to me. Send it to me. And I'll show chat. Or no, I won't show chat, I'm lying. Twerk? <laughs> wait, you guys cannot be- You cannot make me issue out warnings for every little thing you do. I mean, I want to see what this looks like. Because it genuinely- it, it is hard to access the warn function. It's, it is kind of annoying. <laughs> Wait, that's hilarious! <laughs> oh, that's actually interesting. You get like a huge like pop-up over your chat box. Okay. So like, they, it, it would obviously like- you would know if you got a warning. Okay, that's that's kind of good then. It does time you out? What? 
Oh, for four seconds. Okay, that- Wait, this is kind of cool. Because months ago, if you opt in for, like, uh, Twitch surveys, you get, like, an email, like, every few months to, like, do a questionnaire. There's also, like, separate user studies for, like, streamers for, for Twitch. So, like, I opt into the survey service. And, like, that was one of the things I suggested, like, months ago. I was like, please, just, like... Because whenever you time out or ban somebody, the viewer doesn't know what they did wrong. So I was like, please, Twitch staff, please give us, like, a warning function. And you know what? They did it. And you know what? It's because of me, guys. Say thank you. Oh my god, I haven't played in months. I haven't played in months. I haven't played in months. It's all because of you? Wait, isn't that a song? Wait, how's it go? It's like a... It's like a Neo song. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Drew. <laughs> You're welcome. No, it's not a Kelly Clarkson song. It's gotta be like a, a Neo. <laughs> I have no idea how it goes. I went to Stables and they were playing Little Mix. Is Little Mix really that popular? Like, genuinely? I know we saw it in the one gay survey. And I listened to a few songs and, like, they're alright. Should I give them another try? They're from the UK? Oh, no wonder they don't hit the same. Okay, this is supposed to be my track. Oh wait, going back to my favorite Mario Kart song, I like the end of Yoshi's Island. The fanfare music that plays at the very end. Do I like Renee Rap? I don't know who that is. I bet if you guys like list your favorite artists, like your favorite top threes, I will not know any of them. I don't keep up with Zoomer music. I only know SZA. Luffy? I don't know Luffy. I thought- I did I thought you said Luffy. She sings Not My Fault from Mean Girls. Okay, I haven't seen the musical either. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know any of these. Should I just do like a listening party one day? See, this is pretty good. I love the fanfare. You should do a stream where you act to all of our favorite songs. Be sure to post the VOD. <laughs> that could be a fun idea. But we wouldn't be able to, like, stream the music. Like, it would it would have to be, like, me listening. And then, like, on-screen text of the song. But, like, I can't actually play the music. We could do that one day. Dang, a two-star. It's time for online. I, I legitimately don't know anybody you guys have mentioned. Is that sad? Type 1. Or maybe I'm old. Okay, I'm doing my classic... Rose Gold Peach classic piece and content today. Have you heard Grippy by J. Cole? Okay, Grippy? I don't like that word. I don't... Boomer behavior, to be honest. Okay, valid. I'm 25! I'm 25, guys. How do you not know Mitski? I don't... When I got hit by the bus, I was listening to Chappelle Run. I thought you said Dave Chappelle, and I got kind of concerned. Ha <laughs> 
Okay, you guys know the drill? <gasps> Sachi Report! I'm literally gonna win! I'm literally gonna win! I'm literally gonna win. Will peace and get first today? Yes, no, you guys got five minutes. I'm gonna stream for like an hour and a half, maybe, if I feel good. Do you guys think I will get first? Sunshine Airport is one of my stronger tracks. If I lose here, I'm never streaming again. Wait, this feels so slow. I'm locked in. Third place? Second? Club is my favorite song. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about having viewers who are bronies. Are bronies prim still? I remember there was one person in my high school who was a brony. <laughs> the person's name was just Wife. Is that a Mario themed airplane? Is that a rare? I've never seen that airplane skin in game. I've only seen just the regular white and blue. I think it's so cool. Every single other country seems to have themed airplanes, themed trains. Like if you are a cartoon fanatic, they're gonna have a themed transportation device in Japan. I think there's a Hello Kitty airplane that goes to Taiwan or Thailand. They have so many themed trains in Japan. It's like so unfair. We're deprived here in the States. <gasps> Pause champ, guys first place. Can I do it? Type one if you believe. Wait, I think the game crashed. Nobody's moving on the map. No. No! No! Please, I need this! Yes! Let's go! Um, what do I do? Who streams Nami and stop the race? Who did it? Be honest. Up so quickly, I literally had like seventh. Um, I would like to say that win counts, but I think just for like just so like people don't say I'm a scammer, it will not count. I'm sorry, believers, but you know, if we want to get a win, it has to be a real win. I don't want the clip chimps to, like, clip me out of context. We don't want to be on LSF. You know who might get clapped? The non-subs. Because, guys, we are an hour into stream. It does not feel like an hour. Even though I yapped for, like, the first half. So it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99. Just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Also, new sub emotes will be coming this month. Soon. At some point. So guys, get some water, get a snack. I'll see some of you guys in a few. Also, I forgot. Show your pride by subscribing for free with Amazon Prime. Get boomed. The animated ones? Um, no leaks, but... Maybe. Finally, they'll come. I did tell y'all. I would enable more emotes when the American sub prices go up. And you know what? The time is upon us. Yes. Unfortunately. 
The only good thing about them increasing the sub price is that people still keep their sub splits. So like, I'll get like an extra 20 cents. Random. I don't like any of these. Guys, AMA, AMA, ask me anything. Ain't no way. At least Prime is worth more. You know what's shitty? <laughs> it's way better value for either consumer, because obviously, I think Amazon Prime is like 15, like 10 to 15 dollars depending on where you live. So, like, you're getting, like, a 5 to $6 value when you use your Prime sub. So you might as well. But the sub splits on a Prime sub for the streamer is less. I've seen some creators, some that I know, who have, like, openly said, do not sub with Prime. Because I get less money. But, you know, I don't care. If you guys are saving that 5 6 bucks, bucks go for it. You know, everybody's a brokey now. You gotta be frugal. Jackass! Yes, I swore. <laughs> Have you heard of Bee Ba Doo Bee? <laughs> what? That- Okay, that better not be the next, like, your mom joke. That- I know, I have not heard of that. Really? Sending a red shell in last place. What a jerk move. Oh my god, I'm so cute! Let's game! <laughs> I haven't played in a month, I haven't played in a month. such an L compared to the last track. I literally got first. I don't even know what happened. Ah, oh, so cute! Even more boomer behavior? Okay, can, can you, like, at least tell me what it is? Like me? I keep on looking at the chat. I swear to god. You know, I like to think that I'm good at reading a chat and like playing a video game. But I think I've fallen off. It is not a your mom joke. Do you pinky promise? You know, I don't want the clippers to like take this and run with it. The fake news media is gonna get me. She's good, I like her songs. Okay, wait, I believe you now. Oh, I almost robbed that guy in ninth. That would have been evil. <laughs> Somebody's name is Bob. She's got a song with Luffy. Am I not trustworthy, though? Mushroom Gorge and I win. Can I say no comment? Nah, Hacker is definitely one of the more, like, most consistent viewers. Hacker still has yet to type a single Peace I2 smile in the chat room. As we know, the Peace I2 smile chatters are the worst. Hacker is literally in their name. <laughs> yes. 
You know, I think Hacker has that name to, like, make themselves seem intimidating. So many people pick Mushroom Gorge. The fates are not aligned today. <clears throat> Guys, ask me anything and I'll answer truthfully. Can you hack Credit Karma and raise my credit score? No, you can do that on your own, hun. The best way to increase your credit score is guess what? Pay your debt. And if you can't pay your debt, at least try to pay your minimum payment every month. And also a huge tip is if your credit card or your bank servicer allows you to withdraw money from ATMs with your credit card, make sure you double check the interest rates they charge you for ATM fees. Because I didn't know this and I pulled out $200 from an ATM with my credit card and I'm still paying off the interest on it after a year. Because the interest rate that I normally have is like, I think it's 1%. Yeah, I think the normal interest rate I have for my regular credit card debt is 1%, but the interest rate that it charges me for my ATM fee withdrawals, like the total amount that I took off from the ATM with my credit card, is like 10%. Like, I'm still paying off interest for that one transaction a year later. It's crazy. Yeah, I had no clue. You know, I didn't have enough money in my checking. And, okay, the reason why I took money out for my credit card was so I could help a friend play, pay for a funeral. So, you know, I felt like I had to. But it kind of fucked me over. <laughs> um, you know, you don't get rewarded for doing good things. It seems. I'm in last place. Fuck this game. I was gonna ask chat, what should my main game be? It's not that I'm like sick of Mario Kart, but we need a new game. Mainly because we need more Tic Tac clips. I've run out of Animal Crossing content. Pokemon? No. Uh, we haven't even beat. <gasps> oh my God, what was it? Pause. My feet. I'm, I'm literally shaking my feet. <laughs> Fuck you, <laughs> Jackass. Wait, their name is I Love Drugs. No wonder they brought a bob on. They're a criminal. Fuck me, dude! I- <laughs> Wordle? Oh wait, I do want to do like a daily stream segment. I talked about it the last week, but I want to do like, uh, Spanish words. That way we can farm the EV viewers more. Pokemon streamers grow f so fast. You know why I'm not gonna make Pokemon my main game? Is because Pokemon viewers just talk about Pokemon. And it's literally the most boring ass commentary. You'll see on stream if you're a non-Pokemon fan. Prime example, why do you guys watch me play Mario Kart? No, like, actually, tell me why. I'm not gonna hold your hand and tell you the answer. Man, the only thing that sucks is that... I can't- I have to, like, try to wear tank tops, because, like, if I wear, like, a t-shirt or a long sleeve, then the- the well gets in the way. But tank tops are so annoying sometimes. I prefer watching games over playing? Really? I used to think that for a long time. <clears throat> I'll dive into that more in a bit. Because I like Pokemon. Wait, so you, you watch the Mario Kart streams because you like Pokemon. I like watching the streams because I like having something playing in the background while I do other things. That's totally how I am too. I usually got something on my TV or like headphones on. It's mainly because I can't sit with my thoughts sometimes. And I'm not saying that to be emo. It's just... 
I don't like thinking about nothing, because, like, I've gotten pretty decent at self-regulation to where, like, I don't spiral anymore, but I don't like thinking about nothing. Plus, also, I like playing, like, streams or YouTube videos because it feels like I have, like, a friend in the room. And I know that's, like, so much sadder than what I said earlier, but it's comforting. For a long time, I liked watching people play games over playing myself. Because the first console I had was Wii. We didn't have anything, like, too advanced. And the next console we got were... Or was the Switch. And it was my sister's Switch, so, like, I had to watch her play. So growing up, I would watch a lot of gameplay videos on YouTube, and that's kind of when, like, the 2010s when, like, gameplay was popping off. But I will only watch games on stream or, like, YouTube content if it's something that I know I'm not gonna play. Because, you know, I kind of want to experience it myself, too. Oh, so we're friends? So parasocial. No, I said it's- No, I'm not watching you guys! I said watching other people stream. That's totally different, man. The only viewer I would call a friend is... Wait for it. Wait. Um, Rainy Day Games. And Emmy Beef. Those are the only friends. And Cutely. You know, the trifecta. I thought this was the last lap. Oh my god! <laughs> Guys, I haven't streamed in a month. I'm recovering from the ER! <laughs> Guys, type 1 if you watch for the gameplay. I have no items. <laughs> I think my controller's broken. I'm not even kidding. My sister's been using it. Imagine being bad enough to get a bullet. You know what's funny? It's actually a pro league strat to bag and like lose on purpose. You know what? I've been keeping it a secret, but my <laughs> but my whole t <laughs> I can't. Man, I've gotten so good at committing bits, but I I can't do this one. I've been <laughs> My whole Twitch career, I've been practicing bagging. There, I said it. After three years, I can admit the truth. Just give me a 200cc lobby and I will crush. My plan is coming to fruition! Wait, I just realized... I'm not gonna have money to buy the new Paper Mario, like, ever. Fuck! I really wanna play it. Oh wait, Kim bought a painting. Wait. <laughs> Never mind, I lied. You sound like Vector from Despicable Me. Wait, the new Despicable Me is coming out next month. I'm so excited, like, unironically. Also, the new Inside Out is coming out next week, I think? Or the week after? 
I did that on purpose. I'm bagging. Next week, yes. I'm so excited, man. I'm a sucker for most any animated film. Also, welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello, squirt. I didn't realize I had a bullet bill. You know what, squirt? You came back. <laughs> I was thinking about this the other day. Because I was like, man. You know, I get a good handful of first-time chatters that just never come back. And then I was like, wait, I do that too. Because <laughs> when I watch streams, I don't like chat as much anymore. I like just putting it on the TV. So, like, sometimes I'll chat once and never again. What'd you say, Ethan? Do you think there should be a new horsey emotion since she's old now? Horsey? What the fuck? Wait, is that bad? Somebody tell me right now, is, is that a bad word? <laughs> I'm bagging, I'm bagging. Guys, I'm practicing my bagging technique. Fingers are not crossed. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't like any of these tracks. Why are we giving you such shit lineups today? Oh, subbing the S for a di different letter? Oh! Wait, that's pretty good. I had no clue. Wait, should we give Ethan another warning? Um, warning, no vulgar jokes. <laughs> Wait, I love the warning function. Does it show on their record? It does not show on their user card, so like when we do the Christmas stream, there's no indicator for the Twitch warning. I still don't get it. <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> I'm trying to avoid the trailers for the movie because I kind of want to go in blind. You've been warned 4,838 times. That sounds about right with your track record, Ethan, I'll be honest. Watch this. Ooh, that was kind of clean. I'm so sorry, did I spoil? No, you're fine. The only thing I've seen about the movie is, like, the trailer that I saw in theaters, but I, I tried to, like, close my eyes, so, like, I heard what happened. All I know is that, like, anxiety is, like, the, the main no emotion. But usually, if I'm gonna, like, see a movie, I won't, like, actively seek out a trailer for it. Because all the trailers that they have for movies, like, show the whole plot. Like, I understand why. It's just, like, how consumers buy things now. They need to justify their their purchase entirely. That's why movie trailers will show the beginning, middle, and end, essentially. But, you know, I like to be shocked and surprised. Like, I saw... I saw the movie, I saw the TV glow. And, like, the movie was fine, it was artsy, like, I could appreciate it for what it was. But the trailers, like, spoiled the entire thing, basically. I was, like, really frustrated walking out of the theater. I was like, damn, like, it sh showed literally everything that happened. Like, there was no wonder to the movie. See, look where bagging gets you guys. Mm-hmm. likes donut planes like actually i legitimately don't know a single person who has said donut planes is their favorite track even in their top three man i'm not like any of these fucking tracks we're getting today <sighs> talking about donuts i saw a tiktok 
it was like one of the slideshow ones and it was like the worst donuts ever and they were all just pictures of jam donuts and i got legitimately mad like flipping through the pictures jam donuts are so good wait have you all tried the strawberry cinnamon rolls from walmart i don't know if they still carry them but the last time i had them was like two years ago because my mom loves them they are so good it's like a regular cinnamon roll but strawberry flavored icing they are bomb like good Old-fashioned Timbits are nasty. Oh, you just confirmed you're Canadian, man. Now we know you ain't lying. Ooh, that was a perfect speed boost. Okay, watch this. First place incoming. Also, guys, we are another 30 minutes in the stream, so if you're new here, smash that follow button. You get cool emotes, and you get to type in chat. Isn't that pretty cool? <laughs> you're already following. Make sure notifications are turned on. That way, you don't miss a single stream. <gasps> Watch this. Clippers, first place. If we get a follower right now, I will throw this race. I'm not even kidding. fine. It was smart to not redeem it. You know the trick? Keep the coin in hand. That way if there is a ghost, it takes the coin, not the banana. Swap it to get another item. The coin, not ideal, but you know what? It's okay. I'm not looking at chat, you better not say any bad words. I haven't played in a month. I've taken L after L today. I've gotten like two. Oh, the race is over. Let's go. You know what this means. Chat gets a gifted sub. The first non-sub to type in chat gets a sub for me personally. Man, that was clean. All this talk about custard filling is making me think I should call my stuff. I'll let that one slide. You've already gotten two warnings today, Ethan. Okay, will Peason get first today? Hell yeah, I did. Let's fucking go. Man. Flipper saying that? No! Like I said, first non-sub. I squirt. Okay, the gift sub is processing. Ain't no way. Thank you, Peason, for the gifted sub. Enjoy the emote squirt. We do this every single Mario Kart stream, that way you guys don't like fucking stream snipe me. And you know what? I actually got a dub. Only like how only like an hour in? That's not too bad for a piece in the stream, right? Yeah, of course. I hope you enjoy. Use the emotes, enjoy the ad free viewing. But you know what squirt you have to promise? If you ever have an Amazon Prime sub, you have to give it to me. You signed the contract when you got that gifted sub, I'm sorry. Now I'm obligated to stay here for the rest of my life. Exactly! See, you got it! You got it! Nah, the way I see it... 
I used to do so many gifted sub incentives back when I was really small. You know, and I had spending money. But, you know, there's been a good handful of times where, like, I've gotten, like, a lot of donations from viewers. And you know what? I gotta give back. Socialism. But, like I said, money's gonna be tight, so we can't be doing this every stream. Maybe that's why I haven't been playing Mario Kart as much. I just don't want to give out subs. Oh my god, I went for the skin! Guys, ask me anything. <laughs> I hear a blue shell. Or maybe it's in my head. In my head I see you all of me. No, I want to go for the staircase! Opinions on King Boo? I'm very scared of him. Negative one. Top six. Easy clap. You know what, Hacker? If I played King Boo, then you playing King Boo wouldn't be as special, right? I'm like pretty good at Wario Stadium. Wait, no Rainbow Road because it will kill our bitrate on the stream. Oh wait, I was talking about this earlier. I was thinking about different streams we could do that have like viewer interaction. Oh wait, I forgot to mention this during the update part of stream. But the only good thing about me not being able to donate plasma for three months is that I get to stream more. Because usually when I donate, I will either go on like my off day or like before I start stream because it takes like three hours. So now that I can't donate, <laughs> that's like 10 extra hours I have every week. So that means, guys, more stream. More stream content this summer. It either means I'll be able to actually stream every day. If I like if I wanted to and I'm not like pushing myself. Because I'm caught up on my YouTube edits. I have like two more weeks of main channel videos done. So like I I'll have more time to, like, click go live! Fuck! <laughs> so what do you guys want to see me do this summer? Because another viewer submitted stream I have could be for 4th of July. Because last year we just watched history videos and I thought the stream itself was kind of mid. I kind of want to do another Google form where it's like asking questions about like what do you know about American history. Yeah, definitely the reacting to our favorite songs is another good idea too. I can work on those and have those ready for like July or August. That way we can give people like, I can have those done by next week and then we can give people like two or three weeks to fill them out. Because the only bad thing about doing viewer interactive streams with a channel my size is that you don't get a lot of submissions. But whenever I do do a viewer interactive stream that has like prep, like where you guys fill out a form, we usually get a good amount. I got an 80 on my history panel. That's pretty good though. I failed my A, my a push exam. <laughs> I got a 2. I think it's because, like, my essay topic... Wait, I, you can talk about it, because this was back in 2017. But my essay topic was about, like, what are some things the American settlers did to rebel against the British? And I talked about the Tea Act. And how they dumped tea in the water, and apparently that wasn't enough. I dropped history in grade 8. Wait, you can do that in the... <laughs> in the Canadian... In Canada?
I don't think you can drop subjects in the States. But I do know once you get to like high school, there's like different types of history you can take. And like different types of math. I was in the Caribbean. Oh. Still starts with the CA though. I'm an island boy. <laughs> Oh wait, now remembering in high school, I think history, oh, I don't remember. I think for high school you had to have one semester of a history class. So like most people took civics, but since I, I took an AP history class, I had to take it all year. I think that was it. Grr, baby park. If I win, I'll smile. I'm not gonna smile this whole race. Yeah, enough snickering, no smiling. I hate this track so much, like, whenever I get it, it's like a guaranteed L. Dang it, I smiled! Smile. No, I laughed. There's a difference. If Peace and Win, she's dropping 50 gifted. You think I'm that much money? What the fuck? I'm a small. I'm a small streamer. I average like three viewers. I don't. I'm not getting the kick bag just yet. No, seriously, guys. If I went to kick, would you cancel me? Yes. Good. I would deserve to be cancelled. Kick is so dumb. Like, majority of the major creatives on that platform are, like, viewbotted. I legit only went on Kick to watch um, Bruce drop him off for, like, his first stream there, and then I didn't watch anymore. Do you still play Animal Crossing, like, at all? Like, off-stream or anything? Um, no. <laughs> I think the last time I played Animal Crossing was during the Christmas stream. Otherwise, I don't play. I played so much, like, at peak pandemic, and then I got burnt out, and then I played it again on stream, and then I got burnt out. There, It just seems like there's nothing else to do in the game besides decorate. And I've noticed this in every single game I play that has decorating in it. I feel like I have to beat the whole game entirely, get as much money as I can, that way I can afford to like buy any decoration I want effortlessly. And because of that, by the time I get to the point of like beating a game, having hella bags, I just don't play. Didn't Bruce get canceled for being mean to Kai? They're all mean to each other. I don't know. I swear, half the drama you see online is, like, fake. Or they, like, ham it up. But I think they're good now? Have I seen the new FaZe streamers? No. I, I never watched FaZe when I was younger. I only know FaZe Banks. But, like, I never watched any of their content. Wait, watch this. Ooh, Colleen! And people say I'm bad at this game. What the fuck? I swore, yes I did. <laughs> people would be right about you being bad. Just because 99.99% .99 of my gameplay is horrible shouldn't downplay the 0.0001% that I, like, get a dub. You know what I want? Every single person who, like, becomes a hate watcher 
I want you to watch back every single one of my streams on my VOD channel and tally mark every single win and loss I get. I want you to get the numbers. <laughs> Gets VIP and doesn't know how to act. You know, it's really common for like VIPs and smaller channels to be like super weird and unhinged. But you know what? It's to be expected. Just like, don't go too crazy. I was ironically, like unironically gonna say, man, I feel like I'm doing good. I'm in 10th. <laughs> skip all three times. Like, that's pretty baller, if you ask me. Okay, what do you guys think about the streamers who play Mario Kart and don't talk at all? Like, do you think that's chill? I think it's boring as fuck. That's why, like, I can't watch FPS content, because they don't talk. They just, like, they tap heads. Which is cool and all, but, like, I want- I like hearing audio. Guys, I was practicing my bagging, don't worry. I'm gonna win the next one. I like when the streamer interacts with the chat. Oh, for sure. The only thing that I don't like about some interactions with chat is, hmm, how do I say? <laughs> I don't like when the streamer gives, like, too much direct attention. If that makes sense. Like, it, it would be like... If the creator is, like, so excited to see one viewer. That, to me, is a bit sus. Like, I like to think I treat everybody in my chat room relatively the same. I'm definitely more, like, goofy and gaffy with, like, regulars. Because I know, like... I hope they like that. But that's a big reason why whenever I have somebody like show and chat for the first time for the day, I don't ask how they're doing because I feel like that is just it's so basic. It's so basic. That's why I usually go with like, oh, guys, can we get some yo's? Like acknowledging the presence, but not like further encouraging them to interact. I have, like, a, I have a lot of weird, like, little rules in my head that I try to abide by with how I interact with people online. And it's because I don't want anybody to be too attached. And then I also don't want to become too attached to anybody else. Because when I started using the internet, I had just... It was just during, like, the peak of Tumblr I had missed. So, like, I was into fandom culture, but I wasn't, like, obsessed. Like, I'm glad I was post that era of the internet. Like, obviously there's folks online that, like, I've never met, but I still, like, feel that I care about. But I don't want it to ever, like, cross a weird line. Like, I don't ever want to feel sad that, like, so-and-so doesn't post a video or make a tweet or, like, go stream for a day. I don't want to- <laughs> And if you feel that way towards any creative online, then I think you need to do some self-evaluations and maybe experience more things on your own, like in in the real world if you're able to. Watch this. Oh wait, I'm, wa watch this. <laughs> okay, Yoshi's Island third place, not too bad. I just missed the stairs. Ooh, pause? Okay, I'm not talking. I'm locked in. I'm holding the red shell behind me because I don't think I can, like, whip it out quick enough. <laughs> not me leaning! Oh, that 
was dumb. That was dumb. Yes. I don't think the red shell was meant for me. Oh my god. Oh my god. And on my track too. Like today's a good day. Two first place. Man. You know what? I'll say it. The bagging worked that time. Holy shit. Maybe I am good at this game. And just to clarify, chat does not get another sub. It's one per stream, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Intentional bagging, lol. Yeah, it's a strat, don't you know? Wait, Hacker, I know you play Mario Kart, like, for fun, but, like, you're really good. Do you ever, like, try to bag? Like, I obviously try every single race I do. And sometimes it works, but sometimes it doesn't. Not really. Yeah, I, do I think bagging is, like, not a good strat. It only makes sense to bag if you're doing, like, a team game, in my opinion. Clean. I just try to stay in the front and it works most of the time. I totally agree with that. Like, everybody says to stay in the middle and, like, try to catch up, but, like, it never works out. Because the... <laughs> the middle section has the best... Like... How do you say? Not the best items, like... Because, like, when you're in the back, you get items that are meant to, like, put you ahead. But I like the middle because you get a lot of defensive items and combative items. And I think they're the most fun to play with. Or mainly, I'm just saying that because I'm always in the middle. Always the bridesmaid, not the bride. Star in seventh? That's wild. Oh! I meant to throw behind me, but I still clutched. Okay, earlier. <laughs> I recall saying, isn't it lame when people who play Mario Kart don't talk? I'll whip out my cue card next race. bit hypocritical i know right i'm just locked in Set! eight i tried there's always like three people in the front battling out so it takes away from the chaos in the middle yeah the being in the front is the most fun because if you're in top three that's like the biggest gamble because you never truly know what item you're gonna get you have kind of an idea. Usually you will get like a banana shell coin for the most part. And then maybe, maybe a boom box. Whenever I'm in like top three, that's when like my adrenaline kicks in for real. I still can't believe I got two first place though. That's crazy. No way! Yeah, I think I'll stream for like another 15-20 minutes.
Dolphin Trolls, the best music in game. Okay, I'll do my my first topic. Something that I used to do in middle and high school was on my phone in the notepad app was write down everybody's birthday. I don't know how many other people did this, but over the years, like going from middle to high school or graduating, some people's names would get removed from the list. Whether it be because, you know, maybe they did something that wasn't chill, or maybe they just didn't text me back one time. You know, I'm 25 now. I no longer have a list of birthdays in my phone. I don't talk to anybody from high school. Granted, like, a lot of my friends from high school weren't really friends. But, you know, that's just how it is. And I didn't think about that for a long time. Because randomly, last week, I was going through my notepad on my phone, like, just deleting stuff. And I was like, man, where's my birthday list? And then I was like, shit! I guess I deleted that too a while ago. But for now, anybody who like is close to me still, like I have an alarm on my phone. That way I for sure don't forget. Oh my god, third place? Ain't no way. Oh yeah, somebody told me to just stay in the parachute the whole time. Okay, that did not work. Imagine I get another first. <laughs> That's not happening. <laughs> I'm bagging, I'm bagging. Wait, huge. <laughs> I think I'm gonna cry on stream again. in one day if you take away one good one hacker god damn it you know this is my game Not Yoshi's Island again. I don't know why everybody likes this track so much. I mean, it's fun. But it's not the best. I'm gonna do another test. I will not talk this entire race. I'm gonna lock in.
I think I had second and third. There was one person where I think we got shrunk. Yeah, it was the lightning bolt, and then they had a bullet bill, and then they got him first. I was doing decent. But then once I got towards like the middle section, I got bombarded. It's okay, you were just practicing bagging. See, you got it. I don't even gotta say it no more. Okay, I committed to the bit. I didn't talk at all. I was gonna break. But, man, I, I did decent. I did decent. Also, do I drink tea? Do I drink tea? <laughs> do I drink tea? If so, what's my favorite type? Um, bubble tea. I don't drink tea straight up. I've tried. I can't do it. It's too herby for me. I don't like green flavors as much. I always prefer fruit. Uh, there hasn't been a tea that I've liked that I can just drink straight. The only reason why I like bubble teas is because the texture is different. It usually has like a cream base. Ooh, Neil Bowser City? Wait, I can I can win this one. I love flower water. That's cute. Do you have like a little tea set? <laughs> I do really want to get like an antique looking tea set. I always eye them at the vintage stores. Or the antique stores. The vintage store! <laughs> Wait, this feels faster. No, this is 150. I'm lying. I'll catch up, don't worry. I'm bagging, I'm bagging! Watch this. Clean! And I, I still haven't caught up. How oh, is everybody else so good at this track? Now that way if we hit anybody in these turns, it'll doubly screw them. They're scared of me. As they shoot! Right. Oh, I ain't never gonna squid. Saved. As long as Peach is happy, I'm happy. I think we got time for one more race. Mute City could go kind of crazy. Okay, I have five different stories I can do. Guys, pick a number between one and five and I'll tell you the number story. I got five different things I can do. I don't like ice. Ice outpost. Eh oh. <laughs> 
It seems like everybody goes for the blue path. Or maybe because it's easier to do the skip after? I always wondered. Okay, I kind of saved myself there. I'll do store number one. I swear quite a bit. I definitely try to hold back at times. But to me, it's even more surprising when those who never swear swear. And my sister is one of those people. She doesn't appreciate when I swear around her. And I try my best not to because, you know, I want to be a good older sister. I think I've only heard her swear like three times my entire life. She's a few years younger than me. And one of the times was we were trying to catch a bus and we saw the bus like pulling up to the stop so we were running running trying to catch it and of course the driver zoomed off which i know it's company policy for them to like not stop for people who were like approaching the stop for like safety reasons but still jackass driver and my sister was like shit that driver's so mean i was like oh oh my god <laughs> And she was like pouty for like the rest of the time we had to wait for the next bus, which was like 30 minutes. Not too bad, but still. It was so funny. Like, I wasn't mad at all, because like, I knew we weren't going to make it. Like, I was laughing the whole time she was pouting just because she swore. <laughs> no! I'm going to swear. <laughs> Guys, I think I'll wrap here for today. Banger stream. <laughs> okay, I know short stream, short stream. But if you're new here, click that follow button. You get cool emotes and you get a type of chat. Oh, also, oh wait, my it took forever to load out. But guys, I think we'll wrap for today. Short stream. I have a little bit of work to do. I also got things to do. I gotta get my medicine. So. We'll wrap for now. We did get a resub, so we do get to do calligraphy. So if you want me to write your name, all I must do is use your channel points, and I will write your name. Well, I'm only saying bye to the the normie viewers, the folks who don't like calligraphy. They can get out of here. Man, I still cannot believe I got two first places. That's crazy. That's crazy. Also, you guys know the drill. We are two hours in a stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing. For $4.99, just $5, skip your coffee and get ad-free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe. See if you got a free sub available. Do it now. And also just a gentle reminder, if you want to support the channel, sub with Prime and bookmark my website. It should be in the pin chat. Wherever you're watching, if you're on mobile, it should be here. If you're on desktop, it should be here. Okay, let's get the camera set up. Man, that was some horrible, but also amazing Mario Kart gameplay. Damn. Let's see, what type of music? Let's do funky Nintendo video game music. Okay, as I'm getting the camera set up, if you politely could, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Weekly videos on Saturdays. New video will be public tomorrow.
Oh my god, there's two of me. No free feed today, I'm sorry. And I chose your favorite green hacker. Even though the pen itself is almost dead. Guys, if we get a million I'll get new pens. Don't forget the double I- I didn't! One day... Would you ever change your username hacker to have just one eye? I've thought about like if I ever could change my username, like would I remove the underscore? But I think the underscore is like... Yeah, I agree. It's like a staple. It's like part of the joke now. Like, me saying the peace in underscore 17 channel, like, I think it's... I can't change it. Once again, thank you to Hacker for the 25-month resub with Tier 1. I appreciate it. Thank you for your continued support. I am really glad we got to... See you in chat today, though, hacker. Okay, do we have anybody else who wants the name merchant? Redeem now. Man, that $4 juice is so good. <clears throat> I also got a sunburn yesterday. I waited at a bus stop that didn't have a shelter and I got burnt. You know, I live in Washington. So it's not often that we gotta wear sunscreen. Even though you should on overcast days because like UV still like shines through the clouds. I got burnt. This was my first week free from the American education system. Hell yeah, brother. So does that mean you're on, I almost said spring, summer break now? Man, summer is always the best time to stream. Obviously, because you have more viewers, because like all the college kids and the, the little Zoomers are out of school. But the summer streams are always so much fun, because we have so many more chatters. Because, you know, I'll say it again and again. But I try my best to be as funny as I can, but you guys make it so much more fun. You are on summer break? Let's go! Okay, guys. I'm gonna wrap here for today's short stream. But do not worry, you will be seeing more of me in the upcoming weeks. Because, you know, I, I gotta get a bag somehow. <laughs> but, let's see, what's the plan? I don't know if I'm gonna stream this weekend. I might, I might not. Because I haven't seen my one friend in like a month now. You know, we should hang out or some shit. So, I might stream this weekend. If I do, what should we do? Let's actually look through my Switch. Because we still need to... We beat Super Paper Mario the other day. Ooh! I got Super Mario Party. I want to do a stream where I play every single mini game. I have a good handful of work sims. Oh, also, 
I've decided for subscriber only streams, we'll do sub only streams whenever we hit a daily sub goal. We'll go back to that meta. Because I need to be putting more time into editing. Because I want to launch the gaming channel this summer. Oh, I was thinking about this the other day. And usually for my stream anniversary in August, we do like a subathon. But since we're already doing a subathon in September, I think instead of doing a subathon in August on my actual stream anniversary, we'll play games that I played during my first few months of streaming. So we can play Stardew Valley, we can do we can do art, we can do Super Mario Odyssey. I was like we can we can make that like an annual thing. Like playing my first few games. We'll think about that some more, see what you guys think about that. Oh, wait! Oh, I really want to do To the Moon. It's been a long time since we've done, like, a story game, like, a one-off. Yeah, because the, the theme for June is going to be summer jobs. So, like, I'm doing every single Papa's Pizzeria-esque game. Because they're all available on Cool Math Games again. So, Yeah. We'll probably sprinkle in some story games, regular just chatting streams as usual throughout the month, and then work sims. That's the theme for June, because I'm going to be getting a summer job. Yeah, I have a whole bunch of different like games that I've downloaded over the past few weeks because they were on sale. So yeah. Plan is simple. Okay. I would like to thank you all for watching. Any chatters, lurkers, thank you for hanging out today. No raid. Rainy's not live. So, once again, if you know the drama, you know the drama. Just be patient with me these upcoming weeks and months. I will do everything in my power to make sure, like, I heal quickly. Even the two hours I was today, you could probably see me, like, glancing at it, but no swelling at all. So, like, as long as I, like, don't go too crazy, <laughs> like, moving my arms and stuff, I should be fine to, like, like sit down. For longer periods of time. I only, like, it only starts swelling if I lay down flat. Like, when I sleep, it's kind of an issue, but if I'm sitting on my desk, I'm relatively fine, which is good. Which is why, like, I did editing yesterday to, like, see how my body was, but... Yeah. Um... Like I said, yeah. I think you promise I will take care of myself. I promise. I've always expressed it on stream, but, like, if there's any time where, like, I'm genuinely upset or, like, in pain, I'm not gonna push myself through it. So you guys don't have to worry. I'm, like, I'm pretty bad at, like, hiding my pain. <laughs> like, I wince and shit. But, yeah. So, like I said, at the start of stream, if you want to help support my channel, you can either only donate if you can afford it to, but don't. I'm not asking you to donate. All I want is everybody's prime subs because it's free. And please, please, please bookmark my website as peaceandart.myshopify.com. The link in chat links to the actual shop page. New pieces coming soon. Also, like I said earlier, we, we did get a purchase today at the top of stream. So from this point on, any single purchase will be made on stream. That's why I changed all the inventory on the website to only one quantity. That way, because it'll take me like a day or two to actually get paintings made and shipped out. So, yeah. That's all. Just bookmark the website. New blog post coming soon. New pieces coming soon. New pieces on the piece and website. Once again, Thank you all for watching. I genuinely enjoy hanging out and goofing and gaffing with everybody. And you know what? The Mario Kart streams are always a banger. I got two first place today, which is crazy. Actually insane. And con congrats to Squirt for getting the gift sub. I hope you enjoy the emotes. Okay. I will see you guys when I see you. Maybe tomorrow, maybe Sunday, maybe Monday. We'll see. I'm gonna have a lot of free time. So that just means more time with Jan. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Thank you, Hacker, for the resub again. I appreciate it. Okay. Bye-bye. Man, two first place? Holy shit. I hope somebody clipped it. <laughs>
<laughs> I really hope somebody did. Yeah, I've been taking so many L's, I need a W. Bye, hacker. You know what, hacker? Since you're on summer vacation, you have to watch every stream. You gotta promise. <laughs> Dude, I've been getting so many cat videos on my TikTok feed, and it makes me genuinely so sad. I want a cat so bad. Okay, you guys know the drill. Final minute. Any last words? Okay. Bye, guys. Thank you.